dialogue usually doesn't work because it's so linear. The mind is not necessarily engaged by linear dialogue. And what I often do at that point is I instruct class members to read the scene. First we read it through, then we read it through backwards. Last line first, second to last line second, second to th third line, re in reverse. So that the questions, the answers are appearing before the questions. And it's always more interesting. <laughs> Students begin to sort of understand Harold Penter's thesis, which is, you know, language is the tool we use not to communicate. <laughs> and the language also does that, so you, I do that with dialogue. And, th and then I also do it with exposition, which is always such a killer. You give an expositional exercise that is impossible, you know, and see how people get around it. The end, I always know the end. I can't start a script unless I know the title and the end. <laughs>